Hey guys, it's Rain, a math person. Today I'll be going over question 211 on essay exam P. So pause the video quick and try this problem yourself. Okay, that's a new time let's just dive right in. So not gonna lie, this one actually kind of stumped me a little bit because I wasn't that familiar with hypergeometric probability. And that's what you have to use in order to solve this problem. And a good keyway, good sign that this is a hypergeometric probability is I says without replacement. So you know that you can't use binomial distribution because let's say like if there is four numbers out of 12 and you already picked that number, then the next one is going to be 11 out of three. So the probability of these two numbers is different. And that's one of the reasons why you can't use a binomial distribution. So then how do you use the hypergeometric distribution? So you have to first think about like the total number of possible choices on the denominator. Because again, after all, this is a probability that we're looking for. So the total number of possible choices is just pretty simple. It's going to be 12 choose out of 12 positive integers. The casino is picking 9. So 12 choose 9 is a total amount. So the numerator is going to be the number of sample that results in 4 wins or 4 cards that they pick, like 4 winner cards I guess. Yeah, winner cards. And if there is already four and we're picking nine, there's five loser cards, loser numbers. So that's basically what we're looking for here. I'm going to move this. So we're looking for the number of sample that results in four winners or four cards that is exactly what I picked or what the gambler picked and five numbers that the gambler did not pick out of 12. So this one is going to just be equal to, again, the denominator, we solved this earlier, is 12. And how, how many ways can we win? We can win when there is four of the integers that are the same. So out of the four integers, you're picking four numbers that results in a win. And out of, if there's four, if you already took 12, four winners out of 12, then that's 12 minus four. So that there's eight other integers, eight other number, possible numbers that's going to result in a lose. So that's 8 choose 5. So then this is equal to 4 choose 4 is just 1. So 8 choose 5 is 56 divided by 12 choose 9, which is 220, which is approximately equal to 0.2545, which is your answer B. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, as always, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Oh, and also I'm going to um, link the JB statistics video about the hypergeometric distribution that I found really interesting that I found really helpful to in order, in order to solve this problem. So make sure you check that video out. All right, bye.